Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a favorites video and it will be considered my July favorites but this is my first favorites video so a lot of these products are products that I've been using for years and have repurchased so many times so I think it's kind of going to be more of an overall favorites video because I'm going to be sharing a lot of things that I've used so many times and have repurchased like I said so if you just want to see my favorite items that I've been using and use every day and repurchase, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have separated these favorites from skincare to makeup and then to other stuff like clothing and accessories and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off with makeup products. And um, this is one that I repurchased at least three times and it lasted me forever. And this is like my holy grail powder. Like... I refuse to like buy another one because I'm just so happy with this one. It literally makes your skin look so flawless. And after you put on like your foundation, it looks all right. But after you put this on, it just like, it just like seals the deal. And it just makes your face look so good. And it is just the Smash Smashbox Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder. So yeah, I mean, it just works so freaking good like if you can it is so worth the money i've used this just on its own like for school purposes like if i don't want to get ready for school or work i'll just use this on its own without a foundation and you look seriously so good so highly highly recommend this one okay on to more skincare not skincare skin products um i've used this concealer over and over for under my eyes as well as like spot treatment stuff and it's not really more of like a highlighting bottom part it's just to cover my dark circles and I repurchased this as well and it's just a really good concealer and that is the MAC oh man what is it called I have no idea what it's called but it's the MAC concealer and I'll link everything down below I just don't know the name of this one so yeah I'm in the shade NW25 or NW30 I think MW30 for sure. So yeah, it's just perfect for under the eyes and it covers and conceals a lot. So I recommend this one too. Okay, on to lip products. I am really, really loving the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit. This is the only one I have so far, but I'm so glad I picked this shade in Candy K because it is something that I can use every day. And every time I wear this at work, I always get a lot of compliments on it. However, I am not the biggest fan of the lip liner. So what I've been doing is I'll use this shade in Candy K. Yeah, I just use this little baby right here. And instead of using the lip liner it comes with, I use Max Lip Liner in Soar, which is like a darker shade than this one. And so this is what I'm wearing right now. And so it gives like a really deeper kind of pinky tone color. This is more ashy and cool tone. And this one gives it more warm tone, which is like suits my skin tone a lot, skin tone a lot better. So I really use these two. I use it basically every single day. And I know I'm going to continue to use it throughout the fall time because it's just a perfect everyday lip color and suits so many skin tones so I really love these two and even on its own it's still so good so this is also one of my favorites okay now on to eyes I had been obsessing over the Too Faced natural eye palette for so long I literally used that all throughout high school then my senior year I finally got a hand my hands on the naked palette it just looks like this and you can just kind of see pretty much what favorite colors are which is like the gold one and the more warmer tone colors like right around this area but yeah I mean there's you could do so many different looks with this and it's just perfect for everyday wear like so yeah I really like that one too okay and on to my last makeup product which is also an eye product it is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara this is so awesome. It like lengthens your lashes and also makes them look so much fuller and darker. And I always get compliments on my lashes. So if you're looking for a good mascara, this one be, would be the one to go to. Okay, so now on to skincare stuff. I mean, I've used a lot of these products, like I've said, for years. And I'm, this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I know they have the lotion, but the gel is so much better. And this is just what it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty much empty. I'm on my last few uses of this and I will repurchase it for like the third or fourth time. It seriously works so well, works wonders for your skin. It doesn't feel heavy 
and you can use it before you put on your makeup and if you have oil, kind of oily skin like I do this pretty much soaks it all up and makes you look less oily in like the t-zone area and it just works wonders for your skin so if you need a good moisturizer this would be the one to go to it is great 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 great, great. so yeah Okay, and this next product is definitely my holy grail product. I use it every single day, and it is the Clarisonic. I just got the Mia one. It is so worth the money. It really, really fixes like anything you've ever had wrong with your skin. But if you use it both morning and night, I promise you, your skin will be so, so clear. And so, yeah, I highly, highly recommend this one. And on to, speaking of removing makeup, I've used this simple brand of makeup remover wipes for so long. I have tried the Neutrogena ones, and if you have sensitive skin like me, those used to burn my skin so bad, and I would dread taking my makeup off because I knew it was going to sting my skin. But these are so much better, and they're oil-free, and they're really kind to the skin, and so if you just need like a simple, haha, <laughs> simple, if you just need a simple, easy to use, um, Makeup Remover Wipe, this would be the one to go to. Okay, this next product is one of my new products. I've had it for a few months, but I already, this is like a tester product, but I already know I wanna buy the full size, even though it's really, really expensive. And I kid you not, use this at night and you wake up and your zit is com almost completely gone. It works miracles. And they gave me a test tube size. It's called the Skin Cuticles Blemish and Age Defense Salicy Salicylic acid acne treatment and it just looks like this I just got a tiny one and I kid you not if I had the full size I would use it all the time and have perfect skin all the time but since I only have a teeny weeny <laughs> a little <laughs> a little bit of this I don't use it all the time so when I do break out like it is noticeable but if once I get the full size which I will I mean my skin will be completely clear I'm telling you like if you have blackheads or any bumps it will totally get rid of that and I mean, it's totally worth the price. It is gonna clear your skin up and I just love it. So yeah, I'm just holding on to the little bit I have left. But yeah, I highly, highly recommend this one. Okay, now on to other things that are not necessarily skincare or makeup. They're just kind of random things that I've gotten over the past couple of months. But I use every single day, like I've said. And the first thing is a pair of Birkenstock shoes. And I'm, the, I'm a very lazy person. I hate tying shoes. I hate worrying about what socks I'm gonna wear. I hate, I'm just so lazy. And these are perfect. You just slip them on with anything you wanna wear. And it goes pr good with pretty much everything. And they're just, I mean, they're pretty cute. I mean, a lot of people don't like the way these look, but I personally really, really like them. They're like Jesus shoes. And I mean, who doesn't wanna be more like Jesus, right? I mean, you just gotta love these. So yeah, those are my favorite shoes at the moment. Okay, these next two items I have featured in my back to school supplies haul. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. But um, the first one is just my phone case. I have never been the type of person to have a phone case for like, I had an iPhone 5C for two years before I had an iPhone 6S. And I hardly ever had a case on that phone because the really good cases like Autoboxes weren't very cute to me and I didn't really want to spend the money on a case, but this is completely so worth it. I get so many compliments on these, and who doesn't love the Marble Trend right now? I mean, I'm obsessed with it. And so, yeah, I mean, it's such a good quality case. It's from Wildflower Cases, and not only is it good quality, but it's so flipping cute. So that is also one of my favorites. And then the last thing I got, this was also in my back to school supplies haul and it is the Erin Condren planner. It just looks like this. And let me just tell you, I've only had this for about, let's say a month, not even a month. And it has already like made my life so much easier. Let me tell you, I am so flippin' organized and I already have all my stuff together. Look, you can just see like part of my August month right here. Not only is it cute, I already know. I haven't even started class yet and it has already organized my life so much. So I know when I do start my fall semester at Texas State that it will just be icing on the cake and I'm really gonna be on top of my stuff. Like I balance work, YouTube, and school all at the same time. So this helps me get that all taken care of and be completely on top of my shit. <laughs> so yeah. 
so that is it for my July favorites and I really hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned because I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine as well as my skincare routine which is going to incorporate a lot of the products I've showed you today so yeah I'm just so happy I finally got to show some of my favorite products to everybody and I really hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and yeah I just really hope you have a great day and you guys have a good night bye hold me close till I get up time is barely on our side